Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we're going to be doing a, another anime top 10 list, and today's top 10 list is my personal favorite uh, Naruto characters. So, you know, these are, you know, my personal favorites. So, you know, it's my opinion. That's all there is to it. Um, if you have a different opinion, that's great. Respect that. Feel free to leave it in the comment, uh, what you think in your, the comments. Love to hear from you on that, but like I say, it's, these are my opinions. Just want to say that I haven't had a problem with it yet, but still. Um, anyways, um, one of the reasons why I decided to do this list was, well, I reviewed uh, Naruto in my last video, so I figured, you know, I'll do a top ten list uh, on my top ten characters from the show. Um, on this one, just kind of do a heavy Naruto theme uh, month. You know, kind of to celebrate the fact that um, my anime character reviews for Naruto are actually taking off. So, yeah, and uh, thank you guys for liking that um, uh, uh, whole feed, by the way. I definitely appreciate that. Um, you guys are really supporting the channel with that, and I, I appreciate that. Um, so this is something of a tribute on that. Now, that all being said, let's get into this. All right, first off, at number 10, Tsunade Senju, the fifth Okage, the granddaughter of the first Okage, one of the three legendary Sani. Um, she's a terrible gambler. Now, she's, she's a really interesting character. Yeah, she's a terrible gambler, and if she wins, that's a bad omen. And it really is. That's how she knows things are going to be bad, is she just won. Um, yeah, anytime she wins gambling, she knows things are going to go down. Uh, what else with Tsunade? Um, her uh, medical ninjutsu is the best out there. She's even better at healing herself. Um, partially, uh, you know, she gets uh, her grandpa's um, healing juice, uh, her, uh, healing abilities, because uh, apparently he was a really good healing uh, ninja as well. But another part is, I'm pretty sure she's an Uzumaki, um, and the Uzumaki are known for their regenerative abilities. So. My guess is that's a reason why she can heal herself so well is she's kind of got both things going for her on that. So she can heal herself from, from some pretty insane injuries. Um, I don't want to do too many spoilers, but you'll, you see some pretty crazy stuff uh, once she starts getting uh, laid into Shibuden. Some pretty crazy injuries she comes back from. Uh, anyways, uh, let's move on to number nine with Kiba Inazuka. Now, Kiba's an interesting one. I like him. He's uh, spontaneous, energetic, rambunctious. He's he's not the type that can sit still. I'm pretty sure this guy's got a bad case of uh, ADHD. But you know, he, he's a really cool guy. He's um, a dog lover. Uh, he's got his pal Akamaro. These those two are like a joint at the hip. Um, he's a really strong ninja. Um, his offensive powers are pretty dang um, impressive. Although his speed is really where um, his power comes from. Um, that and, you know, his whole man-beast clone stuff. He, he's a really good ninja, and his sense of smell is insane. A great tracker. Great guy, all in all. Um, and he's one of the first people uh, his own age that actually uh, accepts Naruto after Naruto beats him. So that's kind of important, too. Uh, and he, you know, he realizes um, a lot of things with that. Uh, anyways, at number eight, Konohamaru Sarutobi. Now, yeah, I know I'm saying these in the English way, uh, but Japanese, I'd be doing them backwards. Anyways, um, anyways, with uh, Konohamaru, he starts out as just a little kid, and he is like really little, way younger than Naruto, and he sees Naruto as a mentor really quick early on. Um, he's trying to become the Hokage just like Naruto. Uh, he's trying to take down um, the current Hokage, which is his grandpa, the third. And, you know, he uh, gives that up um, real quick after you find that out. It's, this is all second episode stuff. But, um, anyways, he, he really grows throughout the course of the show. He's really smart, um, unlike Naruto. Uh, he's definitely smarter than Naruto, despite the fact Naruto is older. Um, just a really really good kid. He's a terrible ninja at first. His, his abilities of disguise are just terrible. But I'm pretty sure he gets over that and gets a lot better. 
Um, he eventually learns like the Rasengan and the Sexy Jutsu. Well, he learns the Sexy Jutsu right away, but he gets really good at it. He also learns, like I say, the Rasengan. He gets he becomes quite the um, quite the talented ninja, and you know, really lives up to his clan name. Uh, anyways, next up at number seven, people might get on me for him being so low, but Sasuke Uchiha. Now Sasuke's He's an interesting one. He's so cool and stuff, which I'm like, I don't really care about that. That, whatever. But yeah, he's he's an interesting character. He's kind of a, one of the central characters of the show, other than Naruto. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm not really sure why I like him, to be honest. But you know, he's been through a lot of stuff, and you know, a lot of uh, his outward uh, aggression comes from his inward pain so you know he's just masking his pain with anger is really what he's doing but you know good guy and I like him anyways uh, let's move on uh, to number six with Kakashi Hatake now Kakashi or Kakashi Hatake as I'm pretty sure it's more pronounced uh, like anyways he is an elite Joni uh, at first, you don't know a lot about him. You just realize, oh, he's the sensei. Then you realize, oh, holy crap, this guy's really good. And then once you start getting into Shippuden, you start realizing, this guy's been through some stuff. Uh, you really start to see him uh, more as a person once you start getting into Shippuden. And he's been through a lot. Uh, most of Naruto's blood is on Kakashi's hands. And by that, I mean pretty much everyone that Naruto's beat, Kakashi was the one who actually killed him. Um, you know, he's really got that dark side to him, but he always comes across still, um, as a really good person, um, trying to, you know, protect everyone. And, yeah, despite all the darkness that he's been through and he's experienced and all that, he's still, he's still trying to do the right thing, and he hasn't really let the darkness consume him. He's come out on top. And, you know, I kind of admire him for that. It's not an easy thing to do, uh, especially with all the stuff he's been through. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on to number five. Uh, this one is Jiraiya, the pervy sage, the one of the uh, three legendary Sani, just like Tsunade. Uh, he's a great guy. He's rambunctious. He's crazy. He's a lot like Naruto. He's actually Naruto's uh, godfather. He had a thing for Tsunade when he was younger. Um... He's a lot like Naruto in a lot of ways. He's uh, a great um, perverted writer. Um, just a really great guy, really fun guy. I, I love the guy's energy. Just a great guy. I don't have uh, enough time to really discuss him in depth here. If you want to see that, you'll have to check out my uh, uh, review on him. Uh, so you can check that out if you want. But just a really great guy, and I, I really like him. Uh, anyways, moving on to number four, Rock Lee. Now, Lee is a really cool character. What I like about Lee is he's so determined. He works so hard to achieve his dreams. I mean, this guy pushes him, his body to the brink. This guy has absolutely no talent um, as a ninja. He can't, he can't do ninjutsu and he can't do genjutsu. All he has are his fists. And... With the help of uh, his sensei, Mike Guy, he becomes so strong. His speed and strength are just ridiculous. But that's all he has, and he's he's got a lot of skill, too. But holy crap, this guy is just good. Uh, also, he's a drunken master. I mean, this guy's insane. He's just a natural at it. If he drinks, he becomes really good, which isn't really how that works. But, you know, whatever. For the show, it does. And just, I don't know, I like Lee. Great guy. Um, really committed um, personality-wise. Uh, has a lot of strong beliefs, a lot of good beliefs, and yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, moving on to number three, Hinata Hyuga. Now, I really like Hinata. She's just so sweet. She's so unbelievably shy, though. Holy crap, is she shy. I mean, Naruto doesn't even realize that uh, she likes him for the longest time. 
I, well, Naruto's an idiot is part of the reason for that. But she is just so, such a good person. Always trying to do the right thing. She admires Naruto so much. She looks up to him. I mean, she just thinks the world of him. It's, and you know, she's always trying to do everything she can for him. She's does that for everyone else too. She's just so sweet and so nice. You, you just can't help but love a girl like that, especially when she's so shy. I mean, just a great character all in all. Um, really loved in Shippuden. Now she started coming out of her shell a little. I mean, you don't see a lot of Hinata, but what you do see is just awesome. You just love it. So, yeah, Hinata deserves her spot at number three. Um, Anyways, moving on. Number two, Shikamaru Nara. Now, I love Shikamaru. I love him because I can relate to him. This guy is a genius, and he is lazy as crap. I mean, this guy is the most unmotivated guy you will ever meet. His biggest ambition in life is to just relax and take it easy. I mean, that's what he wants for his life, is to just uh, live in peace and... You know, stare up at the clouds all day. Maybe, you know, start a typical family. That's what he wants to do. He doesn't want anything fancy. His, he has no dreams of grandeur. He just wants to live in peace. So, you know, he has no ambition because of that. Uh, he has no motivation. He's He really doesn't have a lot. And he's really not that strong either. His tronker levels are pretty low. He has pretty much no taijutsu. Um just really not that strong, but his intellect is just so sharp, and he's so good with that shadow possession jutsu. I mean, that jutsu can be used in a lot of ways. It's a very versatile jutsu, and he is really good at using it to its best effects. Not only that, but if he knows uh, his allies' abilities and his enemies' abilities, he can actually figure out the best possible strategy for any situation. He knows how to do that stuff, and he can come up with that on the fly. He doesn't need to take time and think about it most of the time. I mean, just a freaking genius. Great character. Um, yeah. Everyone loves Shikamaru. He's just... I, I like the guy. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. Number one. This one probably shouldn't come as a huge surprise, but Naruto Uzumaki, the main character. I just really like him. I mean, this guy has the guts to never give up. He knows what it means to never give up. His ambition isn't really that much. His ambition is just to be respected, really, but he wants to do it by being Hokage. You know, and that's a big responsibility. He wants to take that all on. He wants to be the one protecting the village. He wants to be the one protecting his friends. He he wants to be the one doing all that. He wants, and he doesn't, He's not even the type that'll just protect them with his fists. He'll also... He goes to the point of protecting them by taking a beating for someone else. I mean, the guy is... insane. He doesn't give up on a friend or any... at all. The guy... I mean, Sasuke goes to some pretty crazy levels throughout the show, especially in Shibuden. But Naruto still doesn't give up on him. He still considers him a friend, and he still considers it his number one mission uh, to get Sasuke back, even if it means he won't be Hokage. He actually put his friend ahead of his own dreams. I mean, this guy is crazy. Um, and he'll do anything to, you know, stop the circle of violence. He's he's taken on everything, and he does it with grace. And just a, amazing, this character. Uh, just what he does at a personal level. And he's had a really hard life, too, so it's just hard to imagine it. I mean, he forgives pain after pain takes literally everything away from him. He says, you know what? I'm not going to fight you. Let's just talk this out. I mean, the guy destroyed his village, killed everyone he cares, pretty much everyone he cares about. I mean, how is he wanting to talk it out? The guy's amazing. He really is. Um, and he's just a really great guy. Uh, anyways, that's really all I have time for. So, anyways, please like the video. Please um, leave me some comments on what you think. And please subscribe to my channel. Anyways, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.